From the Signals AZ.com studio, it's the best worst podcast you've ever heard. And now, the Ronnie and Bo Show, brought to you by Prescott Realty and Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service. Oh what? my goodness. What we, are we doing? I have no idea. This is foreign. I, f- I feel naked. <laughs> do you? Yes, because we do a podcast and now people can see what we're your, doing. Your beard's what is long this? enough, it's going to cover. So we're good. What? This is the Ronnie and Bo show. The video version. It's the video version of the audio version of the podcast. And we're originating from Talking Glass Media Studios. Right here at SignalsAZ.com. And uh, that is the best because people can actually see us. Yeah, well, I don't know if that is the best. Well, I've been the only one subjected to the <laughs> visual of you. And now we're, we're broadening that scope. So I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, but this is the Ronnie and Bo Show. It's brought to you by Prescott Realty and Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service. They're great yeah. guys. Louis Gomez, it's a family-owned business, and right. they're fantastic uh, folks. We get all our cars taken care of uh, by Prescott Tire Pros, so yeah. we really like them. Exactly. You can give them a call uh, at 928-776-0205 or go to prescotttirepros.com. We also want to thank Prescott Realty, right? our very first sponsor, Yeah. and uh, Lorinda Johnson, John, John Rocha. Rocha. Oh, i got to tell you a quick story. Yeah. I was uh, out somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where I was. And, and, a, and a young, a beautiful lady comes up to me yeah. and says, are you Bo Woods? <laughs> uh-huh. And I said, oh, man, maybe my beard precedes me. Yeah, or, it did. Yeah. And she says, I'm Kylie Elliott, and you oh. guys talk about me on the podcast. Yes. Yeah, she's a first-time home buyer. First-time, and that's Expert. how they operate, those, uh, those specialists they've got there at Prescott Realty. And so uh, you can call them for a no-commitment free consultation. Nine two eight uh, four nine nine eighty seven hundred. Yeah, you good. Number. You're good. You're good. I can't believe you can remember all that stuff. No, but look, Bo. Like we have. Well, you know when we're when we're doing our podcast when right. we're not on video, every wall is covered with notes. Right. Because we can't remember anything. Right. But now we're just flying by the seat of our pants, aren't we? Right. Well, when we have an actual. <laughs> Table we have desk. a desk, a real desk, and we, we don't have mic stands. Normally, I have uh, <laughs> Harry Potter books, and I have that two Bibles propped up. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and Bo, Bo, you have Bibles. By the way, They're I love this spiritual. I, I love this. Let, let me see if I can get this seat undone. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, I'm gonna mess with, mess with Torrance, the camera guy. Watch okay. Right. Hey, how you doing, Ronnie? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, okay. yeah, this is You're much good. better. This can is I much just, better. Can I lower you? No, no don't. You okay. just did. Huh? No, that's good. You're gonna do that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. hey, oh, wait oh, a look, minute. See? Now I'm we're sure now we're out of frame. I don't okay. know. We no, just messed works. up. All right. Okay. But uh, but it's it's Christmas season, and we get to actually be here in this Talking Glass Media Studios at SignalsAZ.com. This is fun. And uh, they are also the bit sponsor. Yeah, that's right. Uh, for they're I the studio we, sponsor. We are we, from yeah. the Signals AZ studio. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Which is oh my goodness. This for is Ronnie like and Bo's podcast, a joy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have our first live studio audience. Yes, <laughs> this is good. This, we can build on this. There's two of them, which is <laughs> nice. So that's exciting. And um, uh, but I think you know what we haven't done what uh, in a long time. What is the uh, who can top who? Oh, that's right. In this day today in history. in history, yeah, we can never get that right, can we? No, it's brought to you by Signals AZ. So com. what we do is we just look at this date in history, and we try to top each other, right? right. And I think I got a good one for you. Do I think you? I'm going to top you this time. What I do you have? You want to start? No, you're not going to win today. I think I am. Um, it's the Christmas season. I think I got one. Do you? Yeah. Okay, go for it. What, this, um, so th- on what? this day to 1974, Santa Claus came down the chimney in Houston, Texas, and left me a puppy. Did I, did I win? <laughs> no, you didn't win. No. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, it's, it's not December 25th. I'm sorry. I was about six months years old. Uh, oh, six months, so what? Six what? months years? Six yeah, there months you go. old. Six years month old. So I didn't, my mom got a present. She got okay. me. Okay, so go ahead. Give us, give us something on, that happened on this date in history. All right. On this day in history, uh-huh. uh, in 1783... There you go. There you go with the 18th century. Okay, right. lay it on me. William Pitt the Younger. Uh-huh. Is Brad Pitt's little uh, brother. Is, is it? Yeah. yeah. He became the William. youngest ever British prime minister at the age of 24. Did you know that, Bo? No, I did not know that. He was a prime minister at the age of 24. Right. Is that what you just said? Yep. And then this is a good one right here. Okay. Because And you should know this. Uh-huh. And that's why like, I'm going to win oh, no. because here. this is a radio trivia that I know. Oh, that you don't know, okay. and I know it because okay. it's here. Well, let me give you mine and first. It's, if you it's think also you're on top my screen. 
Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, so was, uh, no, let me give you one. Oh, okay. Because uh, I want you to save that one to, to, to hit oh. me over the head with, okay? okay. <laughs> Since you're so, right. so, so confident that that's going to win. Mm-hmm. On this date in 1843, yes. a Christmas carol is published. Really? Yes. Yes. Dickens. Since, yeah, Dickens. Oh, wow. Yeah, it oh, was published on this date on in 1843. Okay. Well, that's just in time for Christmas stories. That is. So do you want to give up? Did I beat you? Um, or do you have one for me? We'll, we'll let the, the viewers decide. Okay. Uh, on this day in history in 1958, 1958, Bo, the first radio broadcast from space. I did not know that. Happened. Yeah. What? Uh, so U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower uh, had a Christmas message that went out um, from space. It said, to all mankind, America's wish for peace on earth and goodwill to men Everywhere. I, I find it hard to believe that Dwight D. Eisenhower got in a, a rocket that yep. Kennedy made yeah. and got up there in 1969 <laughs> and then got in a, a time travel machine to go back to 1958 and, and gave us our first radio message from, from the moon. Well, that's how he passed it away. It wasn't from the moon. It was from space. Right. <laughs> it's, it's okay. All right. I have, uh, I have another good one here. Oh, boy. Um, in, in this day in history, in uh-huh. 1960, Frank Sinatra's first session was recorded with Reprise Records. Uh-huh. Yeah. What was the song? Do you know? Uh, it was called Ring-a-Ding-Ding. Oh, come on. Now you're pulling my leg. Yeah, kiss huh? my ring-a-ding-ding. Oh, ring-a-ding-a-ding. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything else? No, Are I don't you, have anything else. You, you have, taught me. You have nothing? No, uh, that's right. In 1974, which, again, my birth year. I was just joking about that. Are you This sure? day in history, yeah. the man with the golden gun. Oh. James Bond film. Like that one. Roger Moore. Who's your favorite, Bond? Do you have a favorite? I don't know. Connery was pretty good. Yeah, he's hard to beat. But, but I think yeah. Roger Moore was probably more more, more my. That's years. when was I grew up. Was so I'm I'm a Roger Moore okay. guy. They got I, a new guy I, coming I, out. Yeah, have it's they not announced Craig him anymore? Yet? It's not Craig. I, uh, Roger. Well, well, anyways, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, there there you go. And and just for the record, yeah. uh, on this day in history, Jake Gyllenhaal oh, was man. born. So that's happy the, birthday, that's Jake! For the female viewers of the Ronnie and Bo podcast, right? Yeah, well, and for the Russian viewers, also Leonid. Brezhnev. Really? Yeah. He, he, was, he born was born on this day? This day in history huh. some he year that Jake I don't. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yep. Or somebody. Yep, huh? they're buddies. What? Were they born in the same hospital? <laughs> were they I, twins? Is that what you're that inferring? Separated you're at inferring birth, They were twins. Bo. Huh? Yeah. In decades. So that's uh, Who Can Top Who on this day in history. Brought to you by SignalsAZ.com. Signals All right. Awesome. So what do you got for us, man? Well, um, you know what? I, Christmas I, is just around the corner. We We've are, done a couple of podcasts. Yeah. You know, about Christmas. We've done the uh, 12, 12 days. days Christmas. We did Christmas music. Yep. But there are some rather, uh, I, I don't know if they're weird, but they're interesting uh, traditions for Christmas around the globe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we've got some of those pulled up I, right here. You mean like, uh, I got you, got you. Like uh, Christmas Eve, you go out in the back and you, and you run around in the backyard naked. That's a that's a big one. Yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So we're going to go that way, right? That, is that the Woods Christmas what? tradition? We're not talking about our own Christmas <laughs> tradition. That's huh? stay away from uh, Prescott Valley <laughs> no? on Christmas. No? If no? you see a naked bearded man running no? wild, it's just, just uh, don't trip in the pudding. That's all I have right. to say. <laughs> Grab okay. an extra stocking. Give us some give um, us some uh, what do you call them? Well, these are, these are kind the of world. interesting, weird, wonderful traditions from around the world. Okay, l- lay it on me. Uh, first is the Janta, Giant Lantern Festival. Have you have you been to that one? No. Is, okay. that, d- d- is that anything like the hot air balloon uh, festival in Albuquerque? No. It's no. It's no. It's not. not. Okay. It's the it's uh, it, it's it's uh, found in the uh, Philippines. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And uh, the city of San Fernando is the Christmas capital of the Philippines, like Prescott. Is the Christmas uh, Arizona's just, Christmas city? That's just north of North Hollywood, right? Yeah, San Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? No, this is Are the Asian talking? version oh, of that. Okay. okay? Right. So in the Philippines, uh, they have the Giant Lantern Festival. It's held each year on the Saturday uh, before Christmas Eve. Okay, so we're coming up on that here. Uh, you just said Saturday before Christmas Eve. Yeah, you couldn't so just say they couldn't make it the Saturday before Christmas. No, it has to be before Christmas Eve. Bo, don't. So isn't the Saturday before Christmas Eve? 
<laughs> Couldn't they also say it's a Saturday before Christmas? Bo, don't ruin. I mean, this is a well, these are, time old tradition. I know, but, but these are Christmas traditions. You're, you're these aren't Christmas these Eve poor traditions. people that just want to have some fun and throw their lanterns The San up. Fernando Valley is overpopulated. We don't <laughs> care about not, them anyways. It's, it's in the Philippines. What? Okay. Huh? So what they do, here's what they do. What do they do? The festival attracts spectators from all over the country and across the globe. Uh, Eleven barangays. Um, oh, I know that. You're familiar with that. Yeah, that's part of the 12 Days of Christmas song. <laughs> 11 barangays, barangay, <laughs> right? No. No? Um, the, huh? the 11 barangays are, uh, are villages. Uh, oh. Barangay is, is Filipino for uh, village. Uh, village. Yeah. Uh, they take part in the festival and don't a competition. Don't look that up. Don't look that up. Don't, Wait, don't, don't yeah, Google no, that. He no. doesn't know what village yeah, means no, you in Singapore. Yeah, you get yourself in trouble. Go ahead. Um, so th- this is the villages. A, it's a competition. Between the barangays. It's as fierce as everyone uh, pitches in trying to build the most elaborate lantern. You know, you know okay. on our block yeah. at Christmas time, mm-hmm. the barangays are the most obnoxious. <laughs> you should see the lights. That they <laughs> well, put I, I don't know. Around. In your neighborhood, if you're running around naked <laughs> as your tradition, I'm sure you don't these think people that's are not that's the craziest. Okay. Um, but these lanterns originally were simple creations, a uh, half meter in diameter, but now people have gone crazy. And uh, they use this Japanese origami paper, yep. light the lantern, make them elaborate, and then do they go send down, them do they go up in, in the air or yep. on the water? No, they, they uh, send them up in... I uh, saw a Disney movie once where it went on the yeah, water. Yeah, the... Uh, uh, that's not the same thing, is uh, it? Uh, tangled. Okay, yeah. Tangled. Okay, so Philippines, you've got the giant lantern I don't necessarily, festival. I don't necessarily uh, uh, believe that, that you... That I think you made that up. I'm not necessarily... <laughs> no, I'm looking... Uh, they can see I'm looking at the screen. You can't pull that. No, I think you're making barangis up. I think you're just making these words up. <laughs> Next, you're going to tell me there's some kind of goat in Sweden. <laughs> well, as... Huh? As, as chance okay, go would ahead. have it, chance would the, have it. Uh, Is that, you're blaming it on the, chance. The the, <laughs> the I'm blaming it on Torrance. Uh, <laughs> the the gavle goat. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. What's the two dots over the a? Oh, that's pronounced uh uh gavle go, goat. Yeah, <laughs> in Sweden. Some Sweden. Uh, they they have a giant goat. Look how big this is. As a matter of fact, it says it's a 13 meter. Tall goat, which means, which means which means we means don't have any idea how tall that is. <laughs> you know, I have no idea. How many feet in a meter? I, three feet in a I think it's yard? close to a yard. What? So, oh boy, I have no idea. Yeah, no. So since nineteen sixty, their milk cartons are the different size too. <laughs> exactly. They're in liters, <laughs> right? And it's goat milk. Oh, is it really? So, yeah. <laughs> okay. They milk this giant thirty Woo! foot goat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For Christmas. Actually, that has nothing to do with it. So there is some sort of tradition in Sweden having to do with a goat. <laughs> milking a goat uh, tradition. Since uh, 1966. The milking, the milking the goat <laughs> tradition is in the summertime. <laughs> this goat tradition is in the wintertime and on the Wednesday right. before the day before Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to milk a barangay, that's a whole different <laughs> tradition altogether. Got to wear gloves. We're just going to go skip this one because it's getting gross. Um, ooh, Krampus. What is Krampus? Is that so a place? Krampus has a horrific photo as we pull this up uh-huh. here. It is very scary. Don't show the skids. The skids? The kids. <laughs> Krampus. It's I don't know. It's sort of, I don't know if I would categorize it as scary. It sort of looks like you if you put some oh, cardboard well, cardboard toilet horns? rolls on your, on, on your head. We need to do yeah. that. Okay, so Krampus. Wait, hold, on, hold on. Make okay. a Ronnie and Bo note. Okay. We're going to take toilet paper rolls <laughs> and we are going to reenact Krampus, Krampus in one of these videos. Okay. okay this All right. is a very. And then we'll put those pictures up side very by side. Ronnie and Bo Krampus. If you want to go Google while you're listening or whatever, what a, what is that, is, is that thing a Krampus or is it yeah. Krampus Austria? Uh, is the city Krampus? Let me see. I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, Krampus Saint Nicholas's is evil Saint accomplice. <laughs> Nicholas's evil accomplice. Oh, uh, cool. His name is Krampus. And uh, it's a beast-like demon creature that roams city streets, frightening kids and punishing the bad ones. I just Which want you to make sense because the song, right? They say you better Santa knows if you're naughty or nice, and Krampus knows when you're when you're bad. But this takes it a step further. Yeah. He doesn't just know if you're naughty. Uh, Krampus so is the guilt, evil. The guilt trip isn't enough that you put on kids. <laughs> right. You need to have a Or a how creepy creature. it is that he knows when you're sleeping. Yeah, no, you don't, don't want that guy away. to know when you're sleeping. No. Okay, uh, I want I want everybody uh, listening and watching to. Uh, to think of right. Ronnie with a little white, white makeup, white makeup, and then a couple and, of, a couple horns. of, t- maybe, maybe Rams not, maybe horns. not, yeah, ram's horns, but maybe not toilet paper rolls, maybe paper towel rolls. Yeah, they need to be and longer. We can, we can put those right about there. Yeah, and, and, and you'd be Krampus. a good Krampus. And then it says in hey. the first week of December. Hang on, young men dress up as Krampus and, and frighten children 
with clattering uh, chains and bells. And so that's uh, that's Krampus for you. And then wh- should we? Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, this up, is I a like, good one. I like this one. Okay, so now we what have we? Hit? I don't We've remember. Hit, uh, barangay, which yep. is Philippines, and the and the lanterns. And we then the, the goat, the goat in Sweden. Sweden, and then we have uh, the Krampus in uh, Austria. By the way, next year uh, we're going to get uh, little outfits, or whatever you call that, not outfits, but not, not outfits. We're not turning into cheerleaders. <laughs> we're going to get costumes, and I'm okay. going to get a Santa costume, and you're going to okay. get a Krampus uh, costume, okay? <laughs> okay. That's next year. Camp it. That'll Krampus. Be our, that'll be our next year's. We don't have time this year, but that'll be our next year's Christmas card. Okay. That's Santa and Krampus. I like that. And, you know, it sort of, it sort of matches, the names sort of match our personalities. Because I'm sort of jovial and sad, and you're sort of Krampus. And I'm sort of Sometimes you're and beastly. You're a Krampus. <laughs> Krampus. <laughs> Krampus style, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so lastly, uh, we're going to take you to Japan. Uh, konnichiwa. Uh, what Domo arigato gozaimasu. What? Anata no mai wa nang desu ka? What? Watakshi no no mai wa ron desu. Hey, Torrance. I actually, that's all the Japanese I know. Torrance, I, I need little <laughs> words underneath it. Yeah, what is that called? What is that called? Uh, subtitles. I need subtitles on this, Torrance. I think you just called me a name in Japanese. <laughs> no, I just, huh? I, I, I don't even sure? know what I said. But, okay. Uh, so there's the uh, Kentucky Fried Christmas in uh, Japan. It's the Kentucky this Fried th- Christmas dinner in yeah, Japan. It is a huge tradition, and we're not joking about this. And so uh, Christmas is really gaining some traction there in Japan, but it turns out that uh, some new traditions are springing up, and the one that is hanging on the most has to do with uh, uh, KFC. Yeah, they love KFC over the there Colonel, in Japan. Yeah. Which, by the way, you bear a striking resemblance to... Uh, <laughs> The, well, the I Colonel. either that or one of the actors that played the right. Uh, I, well, you, you will. Why you, did they have Re- Why did they have Reba McIntyre playing the Colonel? I didn't understand that. <laughs> I don't know. That was Madison. That, ma- that was Madison Avenue stuff. I didn't understand that. That that, that is uh, disturbing. That ad campaign, right? Uh, so uh, what happens is um, the Japanese, it turns out, are loving uh, KFC at Christmas. Wow. And it's uh, a Christmas Day feast, right? And so, so the Japanese families. How does KFC keep up? Yeah, I don't. I guess they have to, you know. I don't know. They and have and to, that they have strikes to me odd. I mean, that's that seems so American, and I don't. I have friends in the Czech Republic. Yes, and uh, they have a, a Christmas tradition of eating carp oh. for Christmas, which yeah. is that's gross. But they leave the they go get a carp, no joke, alive. They fill their bathtub. And with it's water sw- swimming in the and it's swimming in there, and then on Christmas Day they go in, they get it, they kill it, and then they cook it up. No joke. So it, I Czech guess that, I guess that's freshness, but they couldn't buy it on Thursday and put it in the freezer for a day and a half. Yeah, they got to put it in their bathtub and wake up in the morning and then fry it up because the the carb store is not going to be open on Christmas. Right? No, that's true. So you think you could buy it a couple of days before, but they want it in the bathtub swimming. Before they eat it. <laughs> they want it good. really fresh. Good and for so, them. Uh, now, this is kind of the opposite. So rather than fresh, they're going to go with KFC on Christmas. And uh, so uh, the, there's a Christmas Day feast that the Japanese love. It's KFC. But now there's a festive menu, this says, that will be advertised on the KFC Japan website. So we and if you don't do understand that. Japanese, it says the picture will uh, look delicious. Pictures on the menu. Okay. Uh, with everything from a Christmas theme standard bucket mm-hmm. to a premium roast bird feast. So this is not a tradition, but my wife and I, yeah. well, way back when, when we were dating, right. we, were, we were thinking about something, and I said, go get a bucket of chicken. She said, I'll go out and get some food, and we'll okay. bring it back, and we'll just eat in. Right. So I said, all right, go get a bucket of chicken. Okay. And this is in the 90s. And right. she goes in, and, and, and she comes back with a box of KFC. Oh, okay. And, and Rectangle, it, not a bucket. Yeah. Okay. And it really upset me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it a wasn't small a bucket. Yeah. yeah. And they said, why can't you can't get a bucket of chicken? Yeah. They didn't have buckets. I said, you're just, now, that's, now you're lying. <laughs> it's a bucket of chicken. Yeah, that's. And so uh, we have that little ongoing tiff. I thought I'd just bring the, uh, yeah. the podcast to a screen. Well, that's a with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's huh? a full. That's a full circle. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so I think what we've learned today on the Ronnie and Bo show: weird traditions, wonderful traditions. I learned that you can do this with a chair. Yeah, come um, in and out of focus. I learned that uh, Bo likes to have a tradition on Christmas of running naked in his neighborhood. Nobody else does that. And um, that Satan uh, is using some looks sort of a demonic, lot like uh, Ronnie with uh, paper towel rolls. Yeah, Krampus. Uh, is, We're gonna uh, get the, him made, the, up, made up. Saint like Nicholas that. Uh, demonic partner. Well, this is fun. They're our very first video podcast right here it's from the, the talking glass media <laughs> studios in uh, signals ac yes yeah, and I'm, AC. I'm glad you got through that because you had to sort of we, uh, i was i was expecting
expecting you to fumble it and you didn't. Okay. So I apologize. Thanks for to laughing, you. though. In the I'm middle. sorry. No, that's good. Uh, the Prescott. Uh, the, <laughs> there you go. Speaking of messing up, yeah. the Ronnie and Bo show brought to you by Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive. Go see Louie. Um, you know, we, we we just urge you if you're not already a customer of of, the, of Louie and right. Prescott Tire Pros over at 1635 West Iron Springs Road. We just uh, urge you to maybe try to get an oil change or something. Just right. do something, a small investment that will allow them to earn your business. You're going to be right. very happy. Yeah. And and you're also going to be happy with Prescott Realty. You know, we're we're doing our home. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're I in the middle we, of reason. I say yeah, we. Not me and you, uh, my wife and I are in the middle of doing our home, and I've been talking to John Rocha. You know, yeah. You know, you, you, it's 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 so amazing. You want to you want to you know you you upgrade your home. You put new flooring in. You do a new yeah. paint job. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I mean, wait till you see the couple. You saw some of it, yeah. but, but we're very, very happy with the outcome. We that's changed great. the baseboards, you know, we made it more modern, all that that's stuff. Okay, cool. little, little small things, right? And the problem is, and maybe it's just my problem, yeah. but when you do that, you instantly want to sell it. I know. You don't, just, yeah, just you don't even new. get to enjoy you, you don't it. Yeah. Wanna, yeah, and so, you, you know, do you want to sell it and not enjoy it, or do you want to enjoy it until it gets run down again? Right. But anyway, so I'm talking to John Rocha about, you know, maybe Well, and they're so a, good at that because they'll come yeah. and coach you. That's they'll, right. They'll say, hey, and you he know, has been this doing is a good that. time to buy or this is a good time to sell or, hey, why don't you hang on or why don't you do these improvements? You can call them uh, for a no-commitment free consultation, and they'll help you out, 928-499-8700. That's Prescott Realty or uh, Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service, Prescott Tire Pros.com. You can check out all the services they provide. So, Now, we know on a, on a podcast what to do when we end it. We just... We just we just it. we just pull the volume down. What do we do right. now when we're when we're video? I, can can we go out of focus or something? How do you end a video podcast? Maybe we just huh? Lean do we back just lean back and that's it, huh? Huh? Kind of uh, there you go. All right. See ya. Yeah, Had fun. Good okay. night. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Ronnie and Bo Show. Available on your favorite podcast provider. Please connect with the Ronnie and Bo Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and RonnieandBoShow.com. Send comments to Ronnie and Bo Show at gmail.com. This is your announcer speaking. I'm Shotgun Tom Kelly.